If you are receiving this message, it means you've found us at last. You've come, and with you comes the next great step in the evolution of humanity. We have been preparing for your arrival for years, perhaps centuries. We have been patient. We know you have much to teach us. If you can hear my voice, whoever you are, welcome home. It just repeats after that. Who was that? The head of the station, presumably. Sounds more like a cult leader to me. Someone who flew too far from home. Generations ago, millions of Earthers tried to set up mining stations in the belt. Some of them lasted. Some died off right away. And some of them, no one knows. Still, a station this large, uncharted and seemingly uninhabited? It's like nothing I've heard of. What did the initial scans tell us? None of the scanners penetrate past the first level, but there are no heat signatures, no activity, except this broadcast. Looks clear. Maybe. But we don't know who stashed it here. Or who else they might have told about it. Not to mention, how the fuck are we gonna find it in there? The place is massive. There was a line in the coordinates. Something about... The first ones. What does that mean? Won't know till we get inside. Arlen, Rayan, stay on the ship. Be ready to burn hard if there's any activity on the radar. Jor Ting, boss man. Good hunting. Maya and I will head inside and search around. Cap! Be careful. Exactly how old is this place? Do not want to be on any maps? Maybe a hundred years? Damn. This is fucking strange. Let's search for the command center. Found it. Over here. Never seen helmets this old. Crazy that people used to wear these into the vacuum. An entire station completely abandoned. I can't even imagine what could have happened here. Maybe we'll find out.
as long as it's on the way to finding the MK core. The station is ancient, but the nav beacon is new tech. The ox power is on these breaker keys. The sector is now powered. There are three total. Each should have its own control room like this. Three sectors. I'll go ahead to find the control centers in each one. You keep scanning the servers for any leads. Fine. Have the fun to yourself. I'll call you once I power up the next sector. We still haven't talked about last night. Probably should keep it that way for now. About last night. Yeah, Cap. Tell us about last night. Which one of you made all those noises? <laughs> Sounded like a Koyo stuck on a... Ah, Falota! Get off this channel! There's a dead body here. He seems almost... posed. That's weird. Do you think it's related to the core? Don't know. I'll keep searching around. The last one? Huh. What does this mean? Okay, this group called itself the Cassiopeia Collective. Landed here in 2226. They were an unlicensed settler community from Earth. What happened to them? No clue. Nothing good by the looks of it. Cox was right. We're about to hit the greatest score a scavenger has ever come across. That's what he said. So, what do you plan to do with it? The money, I mean. I'll head back to Ceres. You want to go back to the station where there's a bounty on your head? With this money, I can make the bounty disappear. How? By going to war with Dawes? By making him irrelevant. I'm going to build an OPA that actually helps Belters.
Carlotta. Drummer? What happened? Dead bodies. Many of them. I'll head to the power. Then we can investigate it together. Now you want to include me? Fantastic. So what about you? What are you going to do with your share? I... I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Felota, you must have some idea. Wanna buy one of those Martian mountain ranges? Set up an estate there. You know what my favorite view of Mars is? When I can cover it up with my thumb. Maybe I'll buy the Artemis off Khan. You can call me captain for a change. Ah, this ship has had enough mutinies already. I'm not familiar with the Dalton Principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science. I'm not familiar with the Dalton Principle. Something tells me it's not exactly accepted science. Next life goals. Strange lesson for children. Or anyone. Bodies in the vacuum don't decompose. Guess that was the lesson. These aren't just coffins. They're designed to keep corpses in stasis, virtually forever. All of this planning and effort, just to prepare for their own deaths. Looks like they were pulling walls off the station to fashion these caskets. Big Pagal. This feels like grave robbing. Even more so than usual. I know. But just think of the historical value. These were some of the first people to try and survive out here. Does historical value pay well? Beats me. Reading this message, you'd hardly know they'd given up on surviving and are putting all their hope in. Aliens?
You were kidding. It's like a crypt. I thought Belters recycled their dead. We do. We don't get to be sentimental. We use every ounce of every resource we have. It's how we survive. So what do you think happened here? Maybe the people here were abandoned and went mad. Who knows what else we might find. Dear God. There's no sign of the core yet. I'll check the server here. Keep me posted on any more excitement you find. I'd never let this happen to me. I've got my recycler all picked out. Looks like the medic was well liked. Sabakawalas, staring at the abyss for eternity. I submit this recording alongside the station's medical records for future study. Though I take less faith than Dalton and foreign visitors, I have hope our tragedy will prove instructive to the burgeoning field of extraterrestrial immunology. <coughs> the pandemic which decimated this station began as a standard mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. <clears throat> I contend it was our antibiotic air filters which provoked the initial evolutionary surge. But... <clears throat> it was the children born to this station whose stunted immune systems provided the fatal breeding grounds. <clears throat> I did all I could. In truth, we all did. But we had no chance. They were taking supplements to combat living in microgravity. Wonder if it's the same stuff we take. I doubt it. The only reason we survive now is because of what we learn from settlements like this. Need to power on the sector first.
You seeing this? Sure am. How has all of this just been sitting here? Their stories were abandoned, just like they were. What gets me is that there was no OPA back then. There wasn't even the word Belter. But as soon as they got out here, somehow their lives didn't matter anymore. Huh. Well, if that's how you feel, welcome to the OPA. I'm serious. I'm serious too. The OPA isn't just for dark orphans on series. It's for anyone who wants to fight for a free belt. At least that's what it should be. Is this where the broadcast came from? Could be a transmitter. Another nav beacon. We must be getting close to the core. With all this alone time you've given me, I've been thinking about something. Whatever this treasure is, the one thing we know is that it will change everything. No more scavenging, no more running. That's the hope. The thing is, I think if I had all the money in the world to do anything I wanted, it would be doing this with you. Okay, not this exactly, but working with you to help build a better future for the belt. I want to be a part of it, if you'll have me. I mean... I'd be lucky to have you. So would the OPA. As long as you're sure that's what you really want. I want to be a part of something that matters. And I want to be with the only person who's ever made me feel like I matter to. Holy shit, this is beautiful. It would be beautiful, if it wasn't filled with dead belters. That shape at the bottom, I recognize it from the coordinates. That's promising. Let me check the server for this sector, then I'll meet you down there. Sector's thermo scanner reports biometric presence. There must have been someone here. <sighs> Thank you. 
They're still here. Coming down. No, stay back. Try to get eyes. My name is Kamina Drummer. I don't know who you are, but... I know who you are. You're the pirate JP sent to take me out. Lousy in your scum. But you'll never find that sample. Maya. I see him. He has you pinned down. I'll try to direct you from up here. Okay, he's coming up on the left. Maya! Wait! He's charging! Your left! Now! Wrist terminal broken. And he was running low on oxygen. The hypoxia must have made him disoriented. He seemed to confuse you for someone else. JP? His oxygen was so low, I don't think he even knew who he was shooting at. I know he just tried to kill you, but... Poor guy. This wrist terminal is too busted to search. There's a hand terminal over there. Must be his. I wouldn't have made it through that firefight without Maya. Hmm. Wonder what this guy was doing down here. Let's look around. He was obviously here for a while. Maybe he left something behind. There's a message on here. You stole something from me. Luckily for you, my desire to see it returned is greater than my desire for revenge. This will be your only chance. Say I was open to it. My partner has other ideas. We know. She's already contacted the UN and their Shinabi. Luckily, some pirates got to them first. Pirates? Are they? Don't worry about them. Just send me your location and hold tight. However you deal with your partner, my men will clean it up. <laughs> this is why I love Earthers. So this man stole the MK core. Brought it out here with his partner. His partner. Who must be around here somewhere. Maybe they have the core.
Oh God. The first ones. They're all children. It's a children's tomb. They buried their children here first. Couldn't bear the thought of recycling them. Then they couldn't bear the thought of being separated from them either. So here they are. Here they are. So these people stole the core and ran here. And they hid their prize. In a fucking children's tomb. Some of the first children born in the belt, and this is the fate they suffered. They were abandoned, but at least they weren't forgotten. Here. What do you think happened? Let's find out. Looks like this scientist contacted the UNN, and they sent over the Urshanabi. But they weren't able to stop the word from leaking out. So they stole the MK core and brought it here. But then our security guard turned on his partner and shot her? Seems right.
The MK Core isn't a treasure. It's a weapon. What kind of weapon? I don't know. Something alive. And fucking dangerous. I have compiled evidence to show why this substance presents such a novel set of risks. I now truly believe we may be looking at an eschatological event. I thought I could deliver this sample to the right hands and develop an antidote, but I underestimated many things. All that matters is that I destroy the sample and pray the same will be done to the rest of this cursed substance. Guess they stashed it before they had their fight. It's not in here. So the MK core is some kind of organism? I don't know. And neither do the scientists studying it. And yet this company is pouring endless amounts of money into it. They're willing to kill to keep it secret, and now they're running human tests. Not humans. Belters. They don't even think of Belters as human. Fucking inners. They found a weapon they didn't understand, and they brought it out here to play with. That's horrible. It's nothing new. Just like Anderson Station. The Le Guin. Even these people. Left out here to die. Just another chapter in the story. Got something. Ready? We found it. And now we're going to destroy it. We'll reach full burn in about a minute. What are you going to tell the others? That the people with the money to buy this are the same people who would use it against the belt. Unless we don't sell it. Hear me out. Whatever this is, it could still be everything you need to help the belt. What if we kept it? As a weapon? Or as a bargaining chip? Call it what you want, but no one would mess with the OPA if they knew- The OPA doesn't work that way. It's a hundred factions with a thousand goals. The OPA would tear itself apart over something like this. Why are you so sure of that? You're talking like an inner. I'm talking like someone who knows the OPA. Who knows men like Doss and what they do to stay in power. But the belt may never get a chance like this again. You can't just take that away. You don't get it. You may have bounced around in Zero-G for a while, but you don't understand the belt. Hey! What don't I understand? The 
Belters always look for danger. Broken air filters, leaky reactors, anything that could mean danger. And this... It's a disaster waiting to happen. Think about it. Not like a Martian, but like a Belter. From everything you've seen out here so far. How do you think this really ends for us? You're right. Let's do what we have to do. Rayan! What are you doing? See, Baratna? Told you we couldn't trust her. Hand it over. Now! And that? Arlen. Listen to me. That is a death sentence. You'll never be able to unload it without getting killed in the process. See, that's your issue. No faith in your crew. I already have a buyer on series. Damn it, Arlen, you don't understand what you're doing. You always think you know better than everyone else. That's how you always end up here, yeah? I don't know what the fuck your plan is, but you can't just take over the ship and throw Drummer in the brig. No brig. Airlock. What do you mean? I just got to head back to Ceres and- Tincha! How long is the trip to Ceres? Huh? Two weeks? Three? You want to stay awake the whole time? Until we sell this thing, she'll be trying to take it back. Stubber or voila. Never knows when she's lost. Oh my god. No, there has to be another way. As long as she's on board, it's still her ship. You think Maya and Virgil will take orders from us while she's around? Even the fucking pilot likes her. No. It's the only way to finish this. Take her to the airlock. Sorry, Cap. For Rhea. I wish I could stop Arlen. You can. Help me take him down. Baratna's the only reason I'm alive. The only reason I got off Vesta. won't watch you die either.
Can't stand to be apart from your girlfriend, can you? You son of a bitch! Let me go! What did you do? Sabaka nearly bit my ear off. Would have clawed my eyes out next. Wait, she isn't a part of this. Put it on. We can make it to the station and send a distress signal. Hurry. I'm the one with the bullet in me. You take it. You'll be fine. We both will. I can't. Stop. We don't have time and I won't let you die. I said I would do anything to help the belt. And nobody can do more for the belt than you. Please. <laughs> Maya. Oh, Maya. Oh, <laughs> Maya. 